Question six. So for part A, I think it's best just to do a little sketch. So we've got the position vector at nine o'clock at nine thirty. That and so we're looking for the movement between nine and nine thirty. So that generates this little purple triangle, which I've just blown up here. So it's a classic three, four, five triangle. So by Pythagoras, the uh, distance travelled is five kilometres in the thirty minutes. So therefore, the speed in kilometres per hour, just double it, is ten kilometres per hour. Now for part. B, we've been asked to show the position vector uh, of the ship T hours after 9 a.m. is given by so and so. So we need to do it in terms of hours. So we know the uh, velocity vector, so that the um, velocity for 30 minutes was minus 3i plus 4j. So doubling this, we know the velo velocity travelled is minus 6i plus 5j per hour, so that times T. So the position vector after six hours is going to be the, the starting point, the, the initial position vector, plus t lots of the velocity. So if we multiply this out and then gather up the i's and gather up the j's, we get what we were required to show. Now for part c, uh, at 10 a.m., that's when t is 1. So I've just substituted 1 into the, um, the formula, into the, into the, uh, the vector, the position vector. And that gave us at 10 a.m. Uh, his position is minus 2i, and at 10:30 a.m. his position vector is minus 5i I plus 4j. So uh, I've plotted these two here. So here he is at 10. Here he is at 10:30. So a minus 2 0 and uh, and 10:30 a minus 5 4. <coughs> now taking into account where the the lighthouse is at 10 o'clock the lighthouse is due west of him, so it's somewhere along the x-axis, somewhere along here. And at 10.30, we're told that the lighthouse is exactly southwest of him. So for every four down, he's going to be four across. So these two lines cross here at minus, at minus nine zero in coordinate terms, and in vector terms, that's minus nine i.